What's up everybody, it's your friend Golden Lotus. I'm back with another segment here on the Daily Blue. Uh, make sure you check out all our other shows here. Um, again, we're having a new, a new website is being built, so make sure that you check it out. Um, today's segment is going to be on success. Um, not necessarily how to be successful, but when I, when I really deal with people who really even just want to be successful in, uh, say, they want to have a project, they want to finish complete a project, um, I see a lot of people, especially in the arts community, um, but really overall, because uh, I work with a lot of self-employed people as well, um, is people not really having a clear idea of what success actually means to them. You know, and uh, because everybody, you know, I think, I think that we assume, uh, you know, which makes sense because I assume a lot of things just because that's how culture sort of uh, said it for me. So I, I think a lot of us have like this sort of automatic idea of what success is in the world and usually just includes a lot of money, um, a lot of cool stuff uh, and a lot of free time. Uh, but I think that if we really evaluated for ourselves what exactly success would feel like, I think that we'd probably, it'd be really scaled down. I think that most people um, would like to have a nice life, um, obviously money, uh, because that's an important part of being in our world. Uh, but I think other things important, like uh, I think one of the most important things I, for me are relationships. Um, and I feel very, very successful in that realm. I have really fantastic relationships. And uh, those relationships are kind of the building blocks of my life. Uh, first of all, the relationship with myself, um, which is getting better and better and better um, as I discover more about myself. Uh, and I think that really helps me have great relationships with other people because I don't know, to me that just, there, there's such a high value in that. I, we're probably not all organized that way uh, inside, I understand that, but I, it is an important part of life no matter what. Um, and then success with our business, uh, create, creatively, uh, you know, we ha it's important to sort of have an idea of really what we want. What does success mean for us? Does success mean for us I remember early when I started out as an artist, because I'm a spoken word artist also, uh, I remember thinking that um, getting a lot of attention, uh, like it was more about accolades uh, than anything else. And I, I, the more I realized, as a, the more I performed and the more I created, that it wasn't really so much about the accolades. The accolades are nice, but there is a difference when I feel really solid in something that I've created. Um, that feels like success. And there's, so there's nothing like really external that can validate that feeling that I have inside. Because, so like, so to me, success is in some ways just this feeling. Like when you know something is solid and you know that you're on your mark and you're kind of really, really hitting it. That to me feels like success. Um, and obviously when I'm more connected like that, other people are more engaged. Um, and so that's more of a signal, a signal of how I feel about myself inside or how I felt about the performance. Um, so I think it's important for us to look at those sort of things because some of the aspects of success might already be present in our lives and we don't really pay attention to that. And that's part of the thing that kind of hampers our overall success. Because if you're not paying attention to what you're successful at, you're not, one, you're not seeing what you're already good at. Um, and so therefore it makes it hard for you to really develop a skill set because your skill set's sort of murky. Um, and also to be personally, to start develop a relationship with the gratitude for the things that you are already successful at. Um, and you know, those sorts of things, you know, when I feel like I failed a project, because I failed many, many projects, um, and, you know, to even take out of the project, well, what was I good at and what was I bad at, you know, um, to even kind of extrapolate those things out, uh, because that's a, that's a super, super important thing, too, because that helps you redefine, well, the next time I'm aligned in a project, I might even need somebody to have this specific skill set, because I don't personally have it 
and I don't really have the time to develop it. I'm really good at this, and I know that there's someone out there that's really good at this, um, which goes back to success in relationships, because you never know what kind of skills the other people that you're gonna come in contact in the world um, are going to have, and it just leads to fantastic ways to collaborate and to really build sort of the bigger things of success. You know, maybe having more free time, having more, uh, more of an abundance of money, um, and you know, bigger and better toys and things like that. You know, those are all fun things. I'm not negating that, but I would say the thing I see most uh, with people who want success, it's just ill-defined. Uh, <laughs> And so that's always an important thing for us to sort of uh, get back and reset. That's why I really love the practice of journaling is sort of helping me to kind of reel it back, refocus. What is it exactly that I really, really want? How do I know I'm good at it? Uh, you know, what would indicate to me that I'm good at it, that I've been successful? You know, maybe I have a track record over a certain stretch of time, but it's just a healthy practice to really develop you know, the idea, the ability to self critique. I am good at this. I am not good at this. Um, and this is what I want. Um, so I hope that this was really, really helpful. And I hope that all these segments are really helpful. It's really simple stuff. It's, it's really just us kind of taking a moment and sort of breaking everything down. Because when you really take a moment to break things down, you get to see the etiology of it, meaning the birth of it, where is it, where it came from. And that is such a super helpful skill to uh, possess in this life. It almost can even make you seem superhuman at times just because of how well internally organized you can be. So I really thank you for being here today. If you want more from me, check me out at www.goldenlotus.me, uh, Blue Chip Marketing, The Daily Blue. You could see me on Facebook. I'm Golden Lotus on Facebook. Um, and check out all my segments. Thank you.